Hello friends, I am Dr. Anil Narsinghe, Assistant Professor in the Department of Microbiology in Geshwari Mahathya Friends, in this video, we are going to show you how to perform Mekongki's agar video. So friends, the Mekongki's agar, it is a type of selective and differential medium. This Mekongki's agar, it was formulated by British microbiologist Alfred Theodore Mekongki in the 20th century and it was named after that microbiologist. So that's why we refer it as Mekongki's agar. So that Mekongki's agar, it is a selective as well as a differential medium. It is selective because it is selective for the isolation and differentiation of the gram negative and enteric type of bacteria. So Mekongki's agar, it is a selective and differential medium and it is used for selective isolation of gram-negative rod-shaped bacteria and the enteric group of the bacteria, particularly the members of the family Enterobacteriaceae. And it is a differential medium because this medium it differentiates the gram-negative enteric group of the bacteria into two types, that is lactose fermenters and lactose non-fermenters. So that is based on the fermentation of the sugar that is lactose present in this type of medium and friends this is one of the most important medium which is most commonly used in the microbiological laboratory for the isolation of E. coli. So E. coli as it is gram negative bacteria it is belonging to the coliform group of bacteria it belongs to the enterobacteriaceae family so this mechanical agar it is routinely used for the isolation of E. coli. So friends we will see the composition of this mechanical agar when we see the composition of the mechanical agar so this is the composition of mechanical agar so the key components of this mechanical agar they are that is it is containing peptone 20 grams per liter lactose 10 grams per liter, bile salts 5 grams per liter, sodium chloride 5 grams per liter, the neutral rate 0.075 per liter and then distilled water 1 liter and we have to adjust the pH of the medium to 7.1. So all these ingredients they are used for making the McConkey's agar. So we can make McConkey's broth as well as we can make the McConkey's agar so McConkey's broth that will contain all the ingredients but that will lack agar. So in this medium agar 2% means 20 grams it is added into this medium. Uh, peptone it is one of the most important component. So this peptone it can serve as the source of nitrogen. So that will provide many of the essential nutrients so that will provide the source of carbon that will provide the source of nitrogen, that will provide the source of vitamins. So that peptone it is found to be one of the most important ingredient of this Mekongki saga. And that is required for the growth of most of the microorganisms. Another component it is lactose. So lactose it is added into the medium as the fermentable source of carbohydrate. Then another most important ingredient it is the bile salt. So bile salt it is added 5 gram and that's bile salt or all these ingredients that will make this medium selective and differential. The bile salt it will inhibit the growth of gram positive bacteria. Bile salt it will inhibit the growth of gram positive bacteria most species of the gram positive bacteria and it will allow the growth of gram negative bacteria. So that's why it is uh, the selective medium. Then another ingredient it is sodium chloride. So sodium chloride it is added into the medium that will uh, maintain the osmotic balance. So that is used to maintain the osmotic balance. Neutral rate it is the pH indicator that is also incorporated into the medium and that is making that medium also differential. Then another ingredient that is distilled water 1 liter. So all these ingredients they have, to be, they have to be added into the 1 liter of distilled water and then we have to add agar 
2 percent that is 20 gram per liter and the final pH of the medium it has to be adjusted to 7.1 so this is about the composition of the McConkie's agar and as I told the McConkie's agar it is selective as well as it is a differential medium it is selective for the isolation of gram negative bacteria for the isolation and identification of entering group of the bacteria particularly those which are members of the enterobacteriaceae family and this is a differential medium because this medium it differentiate into lactose fermenters and lactose non-fermenters so that will ferment that will differentiate the bacteria into lactose non-fermenters so as the medium contains the sugar lactose so it is the fermentable source of carbohydrates and then the bacteria gram negative bacteria entering group of the bacteria they are differentiated into lactose fermenters and lactose non-fermenters so when this gram negative bacteria they will grow onto the McConkie saga so lactose fermenters bacteria they will ferment the sugar lactose they will metabolize the sugar lactose and they will produce acid so lactose fermenters they will produce acid by fermentation of the lactose sugars and as there is production of the acid that will drop the pH of the medium so that will drop the pH of the medium so the neutral rate it is used as a pH indicator and when the acidity is produced that will be indicated by that neutral rate pH indicator and that neutral rate pH indicator that will turn red in color when the acid is produced and below the pH 6.8 neutral red it will turn red in color and that will indicate that the acidity is produced and the colonies of the lactose fermenters the colonies of the lactose fermenters they will appear pink or red in color they will appear pink or red in color and the colonies of the lactose non-fermenters they will appear colorless so why the colonies of the lactose fermenters they will appear pink or red in color because the lactose fermenters they will ferment the lactose sugar in the medium they will produce acid and the pH indicator which is used in this medium it is neutral red that will turn red when the acid is produced below the pH 6.8 and the lactose non-fermenters as they do not ferment the lactose sugar so there is no uh, pink or red color so these lactose non-fermenters they will appear colorless then what are the uses of McConkie's agar so that McConkie's agar it is used for isolation and identification of the entering group of the bacteria gram negative bacteria which belongs to the enterobacteriaceae family it is used for isolation of coliform so coliform which are uh, the e coli so that is used for isolation of e coli that is coliform in the given water sample in the food stuff in the dairy product friends now we are going to show you how to prepare the McConkie's broth friends we can readily uh, get we can readily procure the McConkie's agar now we are going to show you how to prepare the McConkie's agar